All right, guys, Sane and Clinton with your man zone today. Uh, we're going to do some burgers, fresh ground the way we like to do it. Uh, today we're going to be using a little bit of chuck roast and a little bit of beef brisket today. We're going to trim these up. We're going to put them in a grinder, grind them nice and fine. We're going to season them up a little bit, and then we're going to cook it four different ways. Okay, let's trim them. I've got the brisket flat. I took that off of a full pack of brisket. We went 50-50 brisket and, and chuck. <clears throat> what we're trying to do here is just get our, our meats trimmed evenly. So when we drop them through the, the grinder, they'll have the same consistency going through. And we can just kind of put them in equal amounts so they'll mix well, we're going for about an 80-20 lean to fat ratio. We want our, our cubes about an inch by an inch. When you're grinding your own meat, it's, it's really important to have your grinder attachments resting in the freezer before you grind. The colder your meat is, the better it's going to grind. If you grind in a, a grinder that's not been chilled, the fat in the meat tends to smear a lot more. And we're looking for more of a grind. We want little little bits of fat throughout the meat, not smeared throughout the meat. If you look at our grinder, you'll notice the frost on it. We've had it in the freezer approximately five hours now. And we've had our, our meats on ice to keep them as cool as we can. We want to keep this process fairly quick so we're not warming up our meats before it goes through the grinder. Today we're using a one horsepower grinder with a fine plate. We're going to do a single grind on it after we've seasoned it. Knife cutting okay? It's cutting just fine. The problem is that this one is a little bit thicker than your brisket is. So I'm not able to cut it quite as quickly as you are. So we're going to be doing these burgers a couple of different ways. What we want to do is figure out what's the best way to cook a burger. Is it going to be on a skillet in the kitchen? Is it going to be on a charcoal grill? Is it going to be on a propane grill? Or is it going to be on a pellet smoker? We have all, all of those lit up outside. We've got a yoder that we'll be using as our pellet grill. We've got a big green egg that we're going to be using as our charcoal component. They're all running approximately 350 degrees to keep it as even as possible throughout the three different methods. And our blaze grill is our gas grill today. It'll be running on a medium heat. It's going to be right at about that 350 degree temperature range. Now we started out with four pounds, four ounces of each of our meats. So we've got a 50-50 blend. You can do brisket, you can do chuck, you could do sirloin. There's a lot of different, a lot of different cuts that you could go with. But for us, we're going to do a, a half and half brisket and chuck today. Okay. Okay, we're going to season these up with a little bit of our burger seasoning. This is a recipe we will post on our blog. Just a nice even coat is all we're looking for. Okay, let's put them in. One of the biggest issues that people have when they're seasoning up their meat before grinding it is that they are over seasoning it. A nice thin layer is all that you need. 
We will post this recipe on yourmanzone.com. We'll have a link down at the bottom of the, of the video as well. You can see as this is coming out how it's all blended together. You see the fat striations that are in it. It's not being smeared together. It's actually coming out as whole chunks of fat. That's due to the meat being cold before seasoning it, before cutting it, and before grinding it. Now we're gonna form this ground, this meat that we just ground into eight ounce patties, eight ounce balls, and then form them into patties right afterwards. Okay, and you don't wanna overwork them. You wanna keep them fairly soft. They don't wanna be worked. any more than you have to. The more you work it, the warmer that meat's going to get, and the quicker it's going to start to smear that fat on us. We're going with a fairly large patty. What we're trying to do today with these is we are trying to determine which is going to be the better method of cooking. Whether it's smoking, grilling, flat iron, the cast iron pan, Charcoal, charcoal, propane, or gas. We're going to run all of them. Let's see how close we can get. One thing you're going to want to do with these patties. Once you've formed them, you want to dent in the middle. That'll help them not shrink. So when we put them on, we're going to put a little indentation in the middle of it to help them not shrink up on us. And we'll have one smaller one. So we've already seasoned these up once. We're gonna do it again, just for a little extra kick of flavor. You gotta remember, this is your man zone. Season it up to however you like your patties to taste, however you like your burgers to turn out. We wanna keep them all consistent so we've got the same flavors going on to the different methods. So we can see what it does to each burger based on the, the method that we're cooking it, not necessarily the way it's seasoned or done differently. So. What's your target temperature there, Zine? 135 is what I'm shooting for on these. Why are we going to 135? I want them to be a good medium, medium rare. They're going to up cook a little bit, so we're pulling them. Got a little more on. So we're right where we want to be. Where these are fresh ground, we can cook them a little bit lighter. They don't have to go to that, that higher temperature. Here, my daughter coming. Okay, we're done with that. All right, it's time for our first taste test. This is the one off of the gas grill, our blaze grill right now. A little moisture, yeah, there's some decent moisture in there. We had a little bit of shrinkage on this one. It's got a nice pink hue down in the middle. Again, this was fresh ground, so that we can pull it off a little bit sooner than we could a normal ground beef.
Got a good crust on it. A little bit of a char on the outside. It's got a really good beef flavor that you're going to get from the brisket. It's got a good mouth feel. It's not mushy. Did you just say mouth feel? Mouth feel. Yeah. Huh? I don't recall. <laughs> That's good. You get a burger. This one is coming off of the odor, pellet smoker. They didn't break up as much as our charcoal grill did. They took approximately 25 minutes to finish off. Okay, this is our second patty. This one came off the odor, pellet smoker. It took approximately 25 minutes. Um, visually, it looks like together a lot better than the gas grill. The gas grill tended to break it down a lot faster, causing the meat to fall apart a little bit easier. Um, let's go ahead and cut into this one. We got our perfect one pink center, just what we wanted on that. Texture looks really good. A lot more moisture in this. A lot more moisture. Let me try this one, Clint. It looks like we have a lot more pink in the center too. I mean, here. The, the temperature got up about five degrees more than the other one, but it looks as if that center has a little bit more pink to it. It's got a little bit of a smoke on it too. Smoke ring on the outside, just a little bit, not much. That one's got a good mouthfeel too. Just a good... And the juice coming out mm. of that. Getting a little bit of smoke on it. Mm. Delicious. What'd you think, Cork? Delicious. You want to try it, Ash? These stayed together a lot better too. They didn't fall apart nearly as much as they did on the gas grill. This is the patty that came off of the big green egg. This is the third one. It third also patty. took about 25 minutes. Yep, almost the exact same amount of time as the yogurt. <clears throat> Still the same colors. Got a lot of juice in this one as well. You can see that juice coming out of it, but this one seems to have a little bit firmer outside mm -hmm. than the yoder does, almost like another char, similar to the similar to the blaze. Mm -hmm. Come on, this one. That's a good patty. Got some smoke on it. Alright, this is the fourth and final one. This is the one that we did on the skillet. 
Um, it has a much better crust on here. It's definitely a pan seared crust. It doesn't have the same charcoal flavor, or excuse me, the charcoal crust that the egg, the yoder, or the blaze put on it, the gas grills. Let's cut it and find out. Definitely a crunch on the outside. Still very moist. It's got a good pink center, but no... Exact same flavor you came off with. No lots of juice. A lot more juice than we got off the blaze. Hey, buddy. It doesn't have the same flavor that the charcoal or the not at all. Gas or the pellet put into it. I mean, the crust, the outside has a good crunch. Not bad patty, just not as good a flavor. No. Not as good as the other ones. Which one did you like the most, Sam? The one that came off the egg. I think I like the egg the most, too. I like that charcoal flavor. I like that little bit of a crust that was on the outside of the egg. I liked, uh, I like a little bit of the smoke that I put on it. I think I think the egg is a clear winner on this one. Oh, I agree.